So this tutorial is going to be on creating a YouTube playlist. The first thing that I need to do is I need to make sure that I'm signed into Google. I go to google.com and I can see that I'm signed in here. You can go into your TechQuest in different ways. One of them is you could click here and then you're going to be able to find your Google Drive. I just type it in. I go to drive.google.com. And then up here it shows all the recent things that I've used. Another way that I could find it is by going and scrolling through all my files. I could also click here on recent. And there is my TechQuest portfolio. I click on my TechQuest. And now I can click here and this is going to be my, uh, this here is my tracking sheet. So I click on my tracking sheet. So I click on it once and then I click here. It says open in a new tab. And I'm going to see which activity I want to do. So I want to do create a YouTube playlist. All right. So I'm going to create a YouTube playlist that contains videos related to educational technology or a standard that you're going to teach. Um, so the videos that I want to use are up here and these are tutorials that my students made. Uh, so we made little videos teaching them how to do math and then they get to watch them afterwards for support. But the thing is, is that I want to have them all into one specific and easy to use playlist that I don't have to have all these tabs open. So what I do is I have my videos open so you can select whichever videos you're going to make. And I go here to, let's see, it says save to, and then I'm going to create a new playlist. So let's see, create a new playlist. It's that little, those little three lines with a plus, create a new playlist. I'm going to call this um, EDTE playlist. Math. And now I create it and voila, this is the first video that's in my playlist, the EDTE math. I go into my next video. Now I don't have to click on create a playlist because the playlist is already made. I just have to find my playlist here. So it's EDTE playlist math. Click on it. And now that one's ready. I go to my next one. I click on it. EDTE playlist math. I can see that I misspelled it. And that one's ready. I go on to my next one. EDTE playlist math. And now that one is ready. If you want to be able to see your actual playlist, what your, what your creation is, you can come back here and go into your channel. So I click on my little icon up here. I go to my channel and then here it shows what all my playlists are. When I click on my playlist, when I click on my playlist, it shows what I have. I can click here and it takes me to my next, uh, my next videos. And now if I want to share the playlist, so it plays all the videos, I click on share. And then this is the link here. So I copy it. Oh, let's see. Copy it. And that's what I'm going to put in my TechQuest portfolio. And that's what we're going to do now. So let's see. I have my TechQuest portfolio. And it says that creating a YouTube playlist would be TPE4. So let's see, I go into TPE4. And remember that when you make it, you have to add a description. You have to add a little description of what your, uh, how you can actually use your playlist uh, in the classroom. And so now I click here, I embed. I paste my playlist and I'm almost done. Um, so let's see what it is this called again. 
create a YouTube playlist. So I'm going to click, double click right now. There's two ways to do this. You could double click or you could click on this up here, the text box. And then you can actually move all of this around. So let's see how this works. I'm going to call this create a YouTube playlist. I'm going to make this a heading. So notice how I make all of my headings a heading or the titles. Create a YouTube playlist. I could double click again right here. And then this, I can turn this into my description. So uh, uh, this is a playlist of student created videos that I can use in my math class to, and let me see what I have here, plan instruction and design learning experiences for all students to plan instruction and design learning experiences for all my students um, having students create math tutorials allows them uh, to show their knowledge as well as document their learning for future uh, for review or to share with other students and that my friends is it right there um, you can use the same you can use the same videos I'm gonna give you some of the videos that I have I'm gonna give you some cooler ones that have uh, kids doing them in English and Spanish and Arabic and then you can come out and copy the same blurb um, and yeah that'll be it when you're done make sure you select publish if you would like to use your own videos or different videos that you want to find by all means go for it I know we're not all teaching math but there's plenty of cool videos that you could use for any grade level